Welcome to the Bag Hack Digest. Hello, hello, beautiful bag lovers. It's Trina here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a tag video started by one individual called Cadell, and I will link her video below in the description section. It's the unexpected luxury tag, which encompasses five non-luxury items that I love. Now, for me, I'm kind of actually a minimalist, and I'm also uh, one not to attach sentimental value to a lot of the stuff I have, and this is just simply because of my lifestyle. Um, the last apartment I lived in previous to this current one, which is a lot bigger, was less than 30 square meters, so I don't have a lot of luxury in terms of space and what I can have, and I've moved actually over 10 times in the last 20 years, so uh, moving can be quite expensive when you got a lot of stuff. So I don't have a lot of stuff. I have my bags, of course, and my fragrances, and a few sentimental items, which I'll share with you now. But other than that, I, I keep things really simple. Uh, even my last apartment is the same amount of furniture as my current apartment, so I have one giant table, a desk, two bookcases, uh, four chairs for the table, two stools, um, another hangout chair, uh, a bedside table, and a bed. And that's it, my friends. That's all I have. Uh, just through experience, I found out that that's all I need to be comfortable. And I think for one or two people, that is all you need. I found I'm fine without a sofa, I'm fine without a TV. Um, I don't own things like watches. I don't wear them, I have a cell phone, why would I need a watch? Um, so yeah, simple. Inadvertently, I'm following the minimalist movement, but again, that's choice and lifestyle and it, it's just the way I've lived. In any case, the first item that is non-luxury and is an item that I've had is this little item here that goes on one of my set of uh, drawers, my bookcase, and I use it to put in my uh, perfume items. And I got this from a dear friend of mine up north in Hokkaido, and so it does have a bit of sentimental value. Um, I do tell friends when they give me gifts not to get me stuff, because then I have to deal with potentially giving away, getting, getting rid of something that I'm attached to. So I tend to opt for experiences and consumable items when celebrating something, good wine, for example, good meal out, good travel, vacation together, that kind of thing. Uh, then you have the memories of it and you can relate to them and not invest so much in the item. Now bags for me, I buy them myself, so um, not that severe an attachment. It's just my choices, they're not gifts, so that's kind of useful. Speaking of bags, being a bag hag, of course there's going to be a bag on this list. And for this video I've chosen my Rebecca Minkoff full-size Mac bag with the five studs on the bottom. I got this for $10 or about a thousand yen, so less than $10 um, on the pre-left market. And I love this bag. I love the styling of it. I love the, the versatility of it, the way you can change up the chain lengths. The, this particular size is no longer sold anymore in the retail or on, the, on Rebecca Minkoff's site. Maybe sometimes she brings out a few that might be in stock, but generally she's gone for the mini Mac, which has one stud less and is much smaller. So uh, for me as a bigger person, it's too small and also doesn't hold as much and doesn't look as nice crossbody. So I love this bag. And seeing as it's getting harder and harder to get, I'm gonna be hanging on to this for a while. And yeah, that's my Rebecca Minkoff non-luxury item. Some of her prices for the retail uh, items are getting a little higher, but they're still not in the luxury realm. Going back to my first item, I, I can't go away without mentioning this little guy, which is another uh, Vietnamese, I think, um, co lacquered coated case that I picked up from the garbage at work. Someone somewhere on campus was not needing this little thing anymore, and I grabbed it right away. I thought it was perfect for what I am using it for, which is to store my little perfume samples. Yeah, free and non-luxury, but beautiful, and I love it. I like things, uh, apart from the stuff on my wall, most of my decorative items do have a functional value to them. Uh, I guess I'm pretty pragmatic. Next on my top five list is this little silver bracelet I got when I was 13 for um, baptism in Canada from my grandmother in Norway, who has since passed away. So I've had this for a very long time. I wear it a lot, I've always worn it a lot. I've, I'll always own this item um, unless I pass it on to a family member. But um, it's kind of warped as you can see here and that's so I can open and close it easily because my hands are kind of big. My wrist itself is also big. Whenever I'm wearing something silver, this generally goes on my wrist. 
and I guess you would might call this a luxury item actually. I'm sure the prices of this brand are um, pure silver are really up there now, but it was a gift from my grandma and it is special to me. The next item on my list is my wall art. Although some of it I wouldn't call art, it's just stuff I put on my wall that makes me happy. I've got some pieces I got from Frank Frank on the wall behind me. I've got some work that I've actually um, done myself, some calligraphy, uh, very poor uh, skills, but I kind of like that I did that at that time in my life in Japan. And I have some uh, pieces that I got recently from Budapest that just make me smile. And these other pieces uh, from Japan here that I got at a flea market. The frames are more expensive though, but it does uh, give this bland wall a little flair. And yeah, I'll always have some nice pieces of pictures from all over the place because yeah, they just decorate the space. The final item on my list is actually an item from my wardrobe and it's a fast fashion item. So in that respect, not so kosher, but actually these pants last forever. And if I need to replace them, I will. And I don't mind another brand, but I'm going to tell you why I love these pants so much. They're so versatile you know, just black pants pleated. They dry really fast. Um, they air, they're wide leg pants. So they aerate a lot. So I can even wear them in um, summertime, even though they're black. I can wear them with running shoes. I can wear them with heels. I can wear them with loafers. Um, they're really comfortable. The elastic is built into the waist so that the, um, the elastic doesn't separate from the insides. I hate it when that happens. And uh, stretches with me as I get thinner and fatter because that tends to happen, unfortunately, at my age. It goes with everything and I wear them a lot. The only downside to having synthetic fibers in your garments is that in the summertime they can get stinky. However, because these are very wide leg and airy, it, it's less of an issue. So love these um, pants and I would repurchase these any day. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you're not and we'll see you in the next round. Backhack signing out.